Hello and welcome to the Honda S2000. Today we're going to drive this, we're going to take a look around it, we're going to look under the bonnet, we're going to look in the boot, and we're going to go for a big cruise down the road and see what it really, really is all about. The JDM legend, the Honda S2000. <laughs> So, as you can see, it's pretty much a standard S2000 in Milano red. We have hard top, optional extra from factory. Quite an expensive optional extra. Well, yeah, these days they're about two grand just for the hard top. Obviously, you've got your OEM 16 inch wheels. It is sat on BC Racing coilovers, so it sits a little bit lower than standard and it's a bit stiffer. So, we'll test that out when we get in there. Um, yeah, as you can see, it's just a standard. Comes with a little factory spoiler as well, makes it look nice. Timeless rear end. I've always loved the rear ends of these. It just looks, still looks modern, but it's a classic. So, JDM legend. JDM legend. Yeah, sleek, smooth, ready to roll. I can't wait to drive it. Let's go in the interior and show you around. Show you around in there. Look at that. Full black leather. Fantastic. Pop round here. So, we're inside the whip now. Here we have, right in front of me, all sets it straight off. I feel like I'm cocooned in a little pod, if I'm honest with you. It's quite small inside, especially with the big uh, tunnel right there. The gauges on here, first off, are very retro. The outside of the car looks less retro than the gauges inside of the car, if I'm honest with you. All Japanesey, very nice, very nice touch on them. Black leather. Nice seats, nice and comfy. Hold you in, little bucket seats. It's hard to believe this thing's 241 brake horsepower, if I'm honest with you. 241. In this tiny little car. Anyway, revs to 9k according to this dash, so we'll test that out. We'll test that out soon. I think VTEC kicks in around 5, 6, 5, 6. Mm, we'll see, we'll see. Anyway, gear knob. Tiny, as per usual, in all these cars. They seem to be very tiny. Very notchy as well, that's quite nice. Little handbrake. We'll test that out later, see if that's any good. Uh, what we got under here? A JVC head unit. Fantastic. So you can listen to your Tupac and Dr. Dre and California love. What we got back here? Oh, that's where you release the boot. Wouldn't have known that if I wouldn't have opened that. And... Yeah. Hello? 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 Right. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Harm works without the key in the ignition, which is which is always what you want in case you want to scare somebody like I just did. And yeah, let's go under the bonnet and have a look under there and talk you around the engine. And then in the boot, so have a look at the boot and then we'll go for a drive. Look at that, what a beast. Right then, so you look under here, it's pretty much a standard engine, apart from the K&N induction kit. It's the F20C, I believe that's what the car is. Uh, 241 brake horsepower in a car that only weighs, I think it's just under 1300 kilos. Yeah, I believe it is. So it goes quite well. VTEC obviously, kicks in around five, 6,000 RPM. And this thing, well, you'll hear that when we drive, but that makes a lot of difference when VTEC kicks in. We'll go in the boot, have a look in the boot, see what's in the boot, and then go for a drive. It's always a surprise when I do this. Not a very good surprise in this one, I'm sorry to say. <laughs> There's not a lot in there, but we do have a funnel for the oil, because it's a VTEC and she likes being topped up. We have some oil to top her up, and some classic spanners that you need for your JDM car. BC Racing Coilover. C spanners, and uh, I'm just gonna have a look under here because I'm curious to what's under this flap. Oh, jack, tail and eye, and uh, locking wheel and stuff. Quite a small little boat, you can't fit much in there. You could probably get one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, five, six. Mm, between five and six bags of shopping in there. Well, they'll do, won't it? will do. Unless you got a child. Right, let's take her out, see what she's like on the road. First off, very ahead of its time again here with a push to start button. Clutch in maybe. Beautiful. 
On the button. On the button. Right, let's go for a cruise. Took me a couple of seconds to pull in reverse there. Right, let's uh, let's go. Right, let's uh, let's see what she's about. We're using a DJ. Uh, we use a DJI Osmo Pocket 3, that's what it's called. But uh, yeah, we've not tried this before. We up upgraded, upgraded the camera equipment. Finally, I'll shut this window so there's no uh, background noise. The pow pow there will uh, obviously go the opposite way. Let's uh, see what the Honda S2000 really is about then, because this is the first time I've driven one. And already, I've just dro driven here in the E21. So much easier to drive. It's nice to have power steering for a change as well. Ooh, responsive, responsive. You can't beat these gauges. You cannot beat them. Look, I'm not speeding up. 15 miles per hour, there we go. Two mile an hour. Uh, where indicators on the left on this? Old school Japanese cars are quite often indicators are on the right. Um, obviously this is not a Japanese a Japanese import. This is a UK spec car. I don't know what the differences are between the two, to be honest with you. I know a lot of people seem to love the, the JDM imports. But I'm pretty sure these are still specced with an LSD as well. Still fun drives. I've already gone the wrong way. Oh no, we'll go this way. We'll go this way. So already, it's quite a smooth ride. The BC Racing coilovers, they're firm, but they're not too harsh. They're quite soft over the bumps, but when you corner, the car doesn't lean, so that's, that's quite nice. I'm gonna take her out onto a faster road and we're gonna really open it up, I think, because I need to, definitely need to hear the, the VTEC noises. And you, you need to hear the VTEC noises too. Let's face facts, it's an Honda S2000, that's what you get them for. Would be nice if we could have the uh, the roof down to really get the full effect of the vehicle, but um, yeah, the hard top is not coming off. It takes two months to get it off, and uh, then you've got to store it somewhere, which is quite large, so we didn't want to leave it in somebody's garden. So we'll leave it on. Don't know about cup holders in this thing. Where do you store your drink? Is there a cup? That's a cup holder. That'll do for a cup holder. Perfect. So you can go to Mackey's and you can have a you can have your Mackies in your under S2000. Little leather armrest, quite nice. Quite a comfy car to drive. Steering's nice and light. Look at that, ooh, green light. Right, let's let's open her up. See if we can hear that VTEC. Woo! Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo! She flies, she flies. Oh, feels good. Right, well, straight into a traffic jam on the motorway. We came on to get some. Uh, we came on to get some good fast, uh, fast roadage, and uh, we're to a traffic jam. So, oh dear, oh dear. But we did hit VTEC. We did hit VTEC twice, actually. I hope it sounded as good to you as it did to me in here. But oh, oh sweet. Let's hit that. Yeah, what a Yaris smashed up. But yeah, we hit VTEC, it sounded amazing. Pulled amazing for a, it's quite an old car now. Really light, light and nimble. We need to get on some better roads. Really give it a proper test. Six gears as well in this, which is quite nice for cruising. Tim's left us a bit of fuel in as well, which is nice of him, so we can go to Scarborough up already if we we found some fish and chips. It just feels <laughs> it just feels so solid and blended. I'm, I actually really like these. Tempted to get one myself one day. Definitely want the hard top because it just makes it feel more like a like a coupe. And I do love coupes. Fuck it, don't we? Right, what we're gonna do now is uh, we're gonna pull up here actually. Although this might not be the turn I meant. Oh yeah, this is the donut spot. I don't know if we can do that in Tim's car. No, we can't. 
Canada in 69. We'll get a montage near this roundabout. Why not? Roll the stuff. The, while we're doing this little montage, let's test the, uh, the steering circle on this thing. And yes, I would love, absolutely love, <laughs> to do a donut right now, but it's not my car, so I'm not going to do that. It's a perfect donut spot as well. I'm not going to, not going to lie to you. Anyway, let's let's crack on. Right, we're going to head back now, guys. Probably end the review when we get back. Um, driving wise, fantastic. Definitely a daily in my eyes. Just ticks all the boxes apart from back seats. Um, what more could you need? Legend. JDM legend. Oh. oh, fantastic. Left that golf behind. Left that golf behind. What a car, what a machine. I'm gonna miss driving this. I'd have one of these, I would have one of these today. If you're bored in life, get yourself one of these Honda S2000 and then just enjoy it, because uh, they don't make them like this anymore. Non-turbo, you don't need a turbo in this. Whew. Beautiful. Well, that exceeded my expectations. What a fine whip, what a fine whip. If you want a fun JDM car, get yourself on Rest 2000. Perfect. Perfect is all I can say. Anyway, don't forget to like, subscribe, all that good stuff, and I'll see you uh, in the next one.